Hi, boys and girls. I'm so happy to be back here with you. I have loved all your Flipgrids and your pictures that you've downloaded to my email. They were amazing. So proud of all of you. And I have some exciting artwork for you this week. We are going to visit the rainforest and we're going to create a toucan. So what I want you to do is when I'm done here, I want you to hit pause. And I have Travis that I found, the traveler, and he's going to explain some fun facts about a toucan and that his beak is actually sometimes four times larger than his head. And I want you to pay attention to the beautiful colors of a toucan and what they look like. So you're going to pause me. You're going to go watch that. And then you're going to come back and I'm going to tell you what you need for your art lesson. Okay, have fun. I'll see you in a minute. Get a white piece of paper and I want you to choose your media again for this lesson. If you want to watercolor, I would like you to either use Crepa or crayon. Here's why. If you're watercoloring and you use something like a Sharpie marker, that does not help to control the watercolor to stay in that space. So when you start to paint, sometimes the watercolor will go outside of a place that you don't want it to. If you use something like oil pastel or crayon, the oil or the wax will help contain that watercolor into that space and it will become a little bit neater for you. So you decide what you want to use for this project and how you want to add your color. Go gather those things and meet me back here. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, are you ready? So what I want to do now is you decide if you want to hold your paper horizontal or vertical, your choice. I'm holding mine horizontal, as you can see. I also want you to think about, do you maybe just want to capture the head of the toucan and make it really big to fit onto your paper? Do you want to fit the entire body on there? Do you want to make it a little bit smaller and maybe put two, two toucans um, on your paper. You try to say that two times fast. So what I'm going to do is I did a nice big one for you here and I had my toucan looking behind. So what I'm thinking this time is I want to do a smaller one so that maybe I can show you how maybe you could add another toucan or you're going to add a lot more leaves for the trees or maybe something else in the picture. So what I want you to do is you're going to start and figure out where you want the face. So I'm going to start mine here, and I want you to put a little eye. So just a little tiny dot for an eye. And around the toucan, I wondered if you noticed that there's a circle around it. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to notice that the toucan's head was kind of flat. So it's going to come past that eye, and we're going to come down for the back of the head. Hope you guys can see this. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I am going to readjust my camera. Okay, I'm back, I hope you can see that. So what we're gonna do now is right in front of the um, toucan's eye is kind of a long line down here. And you might say, wow, that kind of looks big, but remember how big that beak is. So what we're going to do is from that line, I'm going to come up and I'm going to curve it down. Then I'm going to start from the center of that and I'm going to come up and it gets closer and skinnier at the bottom. Same thing with the bottom one. It's going to come up a little bit fatter and then it gets closer to the top. Okay, so it's kind of pointy. Remember, wider down the bottom, closer and skinnier to the top. Okay, so now I'm going to say his body is going to be almost like a J. So I'm going to come down here, and then I'm going to curve it around, and I'm going to stop. All right, so now we need to think about that wing. So same thing. I'm going to start here, and I'm going to start to make a C, and I'm going to stop. 
And then I'm going to finish that C and it's going to be a little bit longer in the back because now we get to add those beautiful feathers. So let's just start to add some lines there for some feathers. And you're probably saying, Mrs. Pike, I don't think that the toucan's wing is that short. We're going to add a second row. Those are kind of kind of be like fingers. I think I'm going to stop right about here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I am going to readjust my camera again. Okay, I'm back. I turned on another light. I think that's going to be better for you guys. Okay, so you're probably saying, Mrs. Pike, that wing still is not big enough. Exactly. So maybe start at your second wing. Let's give him a really long wing here. Let's give him probably like three more. Much better. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with that front leg. So we're going to come back to where the J was here. And I'm going to start, and his leg is going to come down. Mine is going to start to come forward because I'm going to have him on a branch holding on forward. And now the back leg. Remember, he kind of has some meat here. And I'm going to add a little bit here. That's the top of his leg. And then his claws are going to grip this branch here. And then the back of his body, if I jump over here, it's going to come here. Okay, so now here's another fun part. You are going to be able to start to add some of those great big leaves. So remember, if you add big leaves, it's going to make your bird look bigger. If you add small leaves, it's going to make your bird look, look larger. So I think I want to add some nice big leaves because I'm just going to start to show you. So I'm going to come off the paper and remember, he has to be standing on some sort of a branch. So I'm going to have mine come all the way over here. And remember, it's not a log. It's a branch. So super skinny. I'm going to follow that line here. Go in between here. Follow this line and come down. Now that looks like a branch. So let me remind you of something else. When you do a leaf, we're going to give ourselves a nice long line here. When you do a leaf, you want to make sure that you leave a little bit of your branch here and start up on it. I could make some rounded leaves here. I could make some big, huge leaves. I'm going to start here. I'm going to come up jump over. Wow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to start to curve here. I'm going to jump over, come back here, and then I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to come here and come back and touch that. There's one type of leaf. I'm going to show you this cool leaf up here. So what I want you to do is to probably take a pencil. I'm going to show you with my marker so that you can see it. So you're going to make another line here. I'm going to have this one come up here. Same thing. Now, as lightly as you can with your pencil, you're going to do that same exact style of leaf right here. But remember to leave that stem. When you are doing your pencil lines, you're going to add some V's in here. So when you go to trace over with whatever type of marking tool you're using, you're not going to trace over these lines right here. That will give you those cutouts right there, and those are like rainforest leaves. So I want you to finish this however you want. You can do it with colored pencils. You could add all those details with um, watercolor. So I want you to pull up a picture of a toucan on Google. You could do Google Images and finish this up for me and show me how it came out. I hope you have lots of fun, and I will definitely see you next week. Have a great time.